It was just after 9 a.m. when officers responded to a disturbance at 2243 West Eubank Street regarding a man pointing a gun at another person in the home. When the first officer arrived, Sergeant Josh Scott, he was met outside by three people who told him the man inside the home was armed with several weapons and there were still two women and three children inside. The suspect, identified as Kayvon Reagan, stepped outside of the home onto the porch. Hey man, come, come here, just come talk to me. Yeah. You got any weapons? No, I didn't do nothing. Well, just come talk to me. Bro, I didn't do nothing. I got, my, I got kids in here, bro. I know, and everybody's telling me that you got guns, that you're, you're not I coming up. I don't have guns. I'm a felon. Okay, well, come talk to me real quick. Efforts were made to communicate with Reagan for several minutes. Reagan refused all commands and opened fire at officers wounding Sergeant Scott. Outside, come to us! Come to us! Come to us! He's got a gun. Oh. I'm hit. Other officers were able to get Sergeant Scott into a vehicle and transport him to the hospital. He's got a gun. Oh. Get down, get down. Reagan then went back inside the home, refusing to come out. He shot dozens of rounds out of the windows of the home at officers, neighboring houses, and vehicles. Officers were able to evacuate the surrounding homes. At one time, while shooting at officers, Sergeant Gilmore and a member of the U.S. Marshals Task Force returned fire toward the suspect. <laughs> Armor, your guys pinned down or to the south. You need to go south. Yeah, I was K-5 was shot fired. I was taking rounds over here when Armor came into the intersection. A negotiator continued communicating with Reagan for several hours to try to get him to surrender peacefully, but he refused to do so. Reagan continued to shoot at and point his gun at several officers. Sergeant Music was able to get a clear shot of Reagan and discharge his firearm, striking and killing him. The women and children in the home were able to be rescued out of the home and were unharmed. Sergeant Scott underwent surgery and was later released.